Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm Sam. I'm Maggie. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. Tonight we saw La Cage au Fall. We are in a nightclub setting in France along the Riviera, and there is this couple, Georges and Alban, and Georges is the owner of this very extravagant but kind of body nightclub. Georges and Alban live over the club. Alban is Zaza, the headliner of La Cage au Fall. They have a son, Georges, in one night of heterosexual curiosity, um, had a fling with a, with a female showgirl, and she got pregnant, had a kid, and then disappeared. And so now, so he raised the son, Jean-Michel. And Jean-Michel's now 24, and um, Alban, as the partner, was the second parent in the household for 20 years. And he is now engaged to the daughter of a very, very right-wing, insanely conservative politician who wants to close down all seedy lifestyle in Paris. Anne's parents want to meet his parents, and Jean-Michel is just freaking out, and so he wants um, Georges to play straight, and he wants to bring back the showgirl mom, and he wants them just to pretend to be all normal, normal for um, a night. And so, you know, Georges has to tell Albin that he's not invited, and then, you know, hijinks follow. Kelsey Grammer was George, and he is really, really great on the stage. His voice is beautiful. He's a very strong actor. He has great chemistry with every single actor on the stage. He was good. It's, it's, you know, it's always funny when you walk in and there's somebody who's such a big star that you're kind of like, oh my God, there's the big star. But then, you know, and you're like, oh my, you know, he's playing a, a homosexual role, and how is that? How is he going to do with that? But he does a really good job. He has some very difficult songs to sing, and he did it really well. I was very, I was very proud of Kelsey. I thought. Good man, you know, he did it. Douglas Hodge is a genius. He played Alban slash Zaza, and he was perfect for the role. I love him. He was wonderful. He was wonderful. He was superb. I can't find anything to criticize except he wasn't there long enough. I didn't really get into his character until, like, I'd say almost at the end of the first act. It was kind of like it was really one note. It was a really stereotype. But then just whips out all this depth and, like, really gets going. He has so much, like, comedic expression in his face. And um, just, I thought, totally, by the end, you just love that character so much. Elena Shadow was Anne, the fiancé. And it's a pretty small part, but she did a lot with it. She has, in the second act, sort of a more breakout role. She does a lot more interesting things, and she was really great. She's gorgeous. She has a nice voice when you can hear her singing, and she just looks really great on the stage. Robin de Jesus was a very sprightly, sassy little number as Jacob, the maid butler. Uh, he was adorable. He is so funny, and he's just always trying to steal the spotlight from everybody else, and He's hilarious. La Cajel are the, are the drag queen dancers, and they all have their own, even though the, most of the time they're kind of dressed the same or like different versions of each other, they all have their own personalities. They interact a ton with the audience. Um, just high energy, amazing dancers, super strong. They were very good. Uh, I was very impressed with their, again, with their singing. I figured they could dance, even in heels, but I was very impressed with their singing. Le Cage Faux, prior to seeing this, has always been my favorite, and it remains my favorite musical or play ever. It was awesome. It was fabulous. It's hilarious. It's hysterical. I mean, stuff that's not supposed to be funny is funny. I mean, the whole thing is funny. This is the best revival I have seen this year. I thought this was just drop-dead wonderful. It is moving, it's touching, and it's real. It's, it's not contrived. The story is realistic and it's relatable and it's just a beautiful piece. The message is so relevant for today with all of the gay marriage debates that are going on and what actually defines a family and um, you know, what actually defines a good parent and all that stuff. It just had so much relevance to, to what's happening. So I thought it was really poignant. I would recommend this production to anybody and everybody because you will walk away with something important. I would tell everybody to see it. I thought it was just 
super fun. It was a perfect night's entertainment. Good score, good book, good dancing, fabulous performers, good costumes, nice sets. It's got the whole package. Gotta go see it. I'm not. Put that down.